Every living thing on this planet must eventually come to an end, but there are some creatures out there who just don't seem to know how to let life go. Stay tuned until the end to see which creepy crawler still has killer reflexes after their death. Before things get a little freaky, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and join our notification squad. Now let's get into terrifying creatures that live after death. Octopus if you have friends traveling through Korea right now, they've probably uploaded a video to Facebook of them trying sunnuk ji. This freaky dish is made up of a freshly chopped up octopus whose tentacles are still moving as you eat it. Since the octopus's suction cups are still active while you enjoy this dish, you need to chew thoroughly to avoid having them get stuck in your throat. This weird phenomenon occurs because severed octopus arms have a mind of their own. Octopus tentacles are able to process information themselves without any help from one central brain. This is because more than half of this animal's central nervous system neurons are located in its tentacles. Because they have a multitude of brains, you can chop up an octopus and the tentacles will continue to react for up to an hour after they were severed. One study even showed that severed octopus limbs will even reflexively snatch up food in a bid to feed their phantom mouth. Could you imagine if these little guys were able to live on longer than just an hour? That would make a great storyline for a new Stephen King horror novel. Cockroach Cockroaches are known for being resilient little creatures that can survive just about anything. While most creatures die almost immediately after being decapitated, did you know that a cockroach can live for weeks without its head? Cockroaches breathe through little holes in their body, and they don't need a brain to continue on with this breathing process. Also, they don't bleed to death after being decapitated. Their head wound is quickly sealed off by clotting. Okay, so cockroaches aren't technically creatures that live after death, but they are creatures that can live through things that would cause other to be dead. However, it's also reported that a cockroach's decapitated head will wave its antennae back and forth for several hours after being severed. So it seems that the head portion of this insect does live on in the afterlife. As long as they don't get eaten by a predator, a headless cockroach will be very much alive for weeks. They usually end up croaking due to an infection or from no longer being able to eat or drink through their mouth. All of this just further proves how enduring the cockroach truly is. Mouse. An animal is considered dead once its body and essential organs cease to function, right? But what if we told you that mice still have loads of activity occurring in their tiny bodies after death? According to the research done by the University of Washington, 515 genes were still active at full capacity in dead mice for up to 24 hours after they died. They were able to track this by looking at the levels of mRNA present in the mice in the 96 hours after death. mRNA is what stimulates the genes to produce things that the body needs. What's even weirder is that the active genes found were the kind that usually fire up during emergencies, like the ones that ramp up the immune system and counteract stress. The research team was also amazed to find that certain developmental genes that are only active at the beginning of life were reactivated again in death. It's almost as if dead mice become zombified for 24 hours, except they're not the brain-eating kind. Frog We've already deduced that some animals don't need their brain in order to survive, but did you know that frogs are part of that category too? If you go on YouTube, you can find a plethora of disturbing videos featuring headless frogs that are still very much alive. Some people have even found headless frogs surviving in the wild. A 19th century neurologist even once carefully removed the brain of a frog for the sake of research. He noted that the brainless frog's behavior was comparable to that of his normal counterparts. Whenever he prodded the frog or put it in water, Water, it still swam, hopped, and croaked. While humans need their brain to survive, a brainless frog will continue to respond to external stimuli. There are even studies that show that a headless frog will respond more consistently to stimuli than a completely intact frog. Weird, right? While frogs don't necessarily die when decapitated, they're still worth mentioning because they're absolutely terrifying without their heads. Can you imagine running into this creature while taking a leisurely stroll through the forest? We definitely run in the opposite direction fish. What would you do if you were salting your fresh fish and it started to wriggle around in your baking pan? Since you had it beheaded and degutted, it must be dead, right? Well, although it's technically dead, a fish's cells can still respond to stimuli post-mortem. Right after death, the muscle motor neurons still contain membrane potential, which can ultimately lead to movement. There's one viral video in particular that is a perfect example of this phenomenon. When a fried fish appeared to come back to life in China, it caused some nearby patrons to flip out. Understandably, 
some people on the internet commented that they were concerned that the fish were being fried alive, but this was just science at work, showing how the nerve cells still reacted to stimuli after death. Out of all the creepy creatures on this list so far, we sure wouldn't want to see a fish flop around on our dinner plate when it's supposed to be dead. Turtle in some places around the world, snapping turtle meat is eaten as a delicacy. The butchers who dismember these creatures have probably already seen a turtle heart that has refused to stop beating. That's right, you can hold a severed turtle heart in your hand, and it will continue to beat steadily for hours after the turtle's death. This occurs because turtles have pacemaker cells that ensure that the heart is functioning, even if they're not getting any signals from the brain. The brain only controls the speed of their heartbeat. A turtle's heart can continue to beat by itself, thanks to the nerve cells within it that continue to fire. So when you take the heart out of a turtle, it most probably doesn't realize that its body is dead yet. Isn't that kind of sad? Turtle hearts are so resilient that some types of turtles can even survive through 5,000 hours of diving without going up for air. Their hearts have their own fuel to keep them going, even if they're no longer receiving any oxygen or nutrients. Chicken You've probably already heard that chickens can still run around for a few seconds after having their heads chopped off, but why exactly does this happen? Scientists don't know everything about this phenomenon yet, but they do know that chickens have a neural network in their spine that is pre-programmed to move the muscles in frequently used movement patterns. During their beheading, a chicken's neurons begin to fire off like crazy, causing the animal to run around for a few seconds after death. There was even one beheaded chicken in Colorado that refused to die back in 1945. Mike the Headless Chicken managed managed to live for 18 months after his decapitation went wrong. This lucky chicken survived because his owner's hatchet missed his jugular vein. Mike also only lost a part of his brain that wasn't necessary for his body's vital functions. Of course, Mike wasn't technically a terrifying creature who lived after death. He was just very much alive for a chicken that should have been dead. There's even an entire festival dedicated to Mike's will to live. Fruit Fly Fruit flies are probably one of the most common pests that you'll encounter in your home. We're not quite sure why anyone would want to study these pesky little creatures, but Herman T. Spieth once discovered that female fruit flies can live for several days with no head. They even act almost exactly like their normal counterparts and can fly, walk, and preen like usual. These decapitated female fruit flies will even still be courted by male fruit flies, and here's where it gets interesting. During Herman's research, he found that the beheaded females stopped responding positively to the males. They instead treated their courtship as a noxious foreign stimuli. This happened because they no longer had their antennas, which are used to listen to the male fruit flies chirping. Who knew that relationships between tiny insects could be so complicated? Outside of a lab, we're not really sure how a fruit fly could become beheaded, but we assume that they would fall dead after a couple of days due to a lack of food and water. Flatworm when we were little, we all thought that we could create two new earthworms by cutting one earthworm in half. Unfortunately for all of the worms that we cut in half back then, we just found out that that isn't true. But there is a type of worm out there that continues to live on after you cut it in half. In fact, it'll even still be alive if you cut it into 20 pieces. The planarian flatworm is a creepy ocean crawler that just refuses to die, even if you do things to it that would instantly end the life of other animals. This is all possible thanks to its ability Ability to regenerate its body. So if you cut one in half, the half with the head will grow a tail, and the half with the tail will grow a head. There were even some scientists at Nottingham University who ended up creating 20,000 planarian flatworms from a single worm. This is a creature that should technically be dead by now, but it somehow defies all odds and continues to live on. Snake we saved the most terrifying dead creature on this list for last. If ever you encounter a venomous snake while out in the wild, you should run away from it as fast as you can. We strongly suggest this advice because even if you somehow behead the snake, it can still bite you. There was once a chef in China who was fatally bitten by a chopped up snake that he had prepared to use in a cobra soup recipe. This happened because snakes can retain reflexes after death. The bite reflex of a decapitated snake head can be triggered hours after the snake dies. Bodies of decapitated snakes will even continue to rise up in a menacing pose and will strike out if they feel threatened. Sadly, beheaded snakes are also often in excruciating pain after getting chopped up. If you ever do find yourself near a decapitated snake head, the nicest thing that you can do for this creature is to use a rock to end its suffering. That's all for terrifying creatures that live after death. We hope you found this video informative and thanks so much for hanging out with us. See you next time!